Well, hello. Good morning, rise and shine. I wanted to talk to you today about what it means to take up space and expanding your existence. They're both kind of the same thing. They're energy based, but they are different levels of you accessing parts of yourself, hopefully to the point of understanding your infinite part of yourself. So I am going to just uh, say hi in the chat to get that going. And was just going to wait for a few minutes to see if any, not a few minutes, just a few seconds. If you are here, just say hi, wave, give a thumbs up, give a heart, tell me your name, whatever, and I'll start getting into this. This won't be a marathon video, just a, um, a very informative video to help you improve your life. To easily improve your life dramatically by understanding a little bit more about taking up space, expanding your existence, and understanding how to work with that. So I go on my morning walks. I just came back and um, making my breakfast and I thought I'd pop on here because one of my practices when I go out for my walk is a perfect time to get present with myself, to take up my space, and expand into my existence. I wish this, when I say expand, it's just like imagine your arms going all the way out, all the way up to the clouds, down into the core of the earth, around the world, just as far as you can, because your existence exists everywhere. Okay, we're not gonna get into the dynamics of multi-dimensions because there's just so much to discuss on this. But I wanna talk about when people say, take up space. A lot of times people say it with the, with the energy of, I'm gonna take up space. Like, I'm gonna take up space. Like, okay, good, take up space. But when I say take up space, it's like first get present in yourself. So in the morning, especially, this is a good time to do this. You know, you've been out astral traveling, dreaming, wherever your soul has been traveling during the night, whether you're aware of it or not. You're out and about, you you know, you kind of get up in the morning and you're just getting your bearings about yourself. A really good thing, if you can, is just to get your feet on the ground and just like, you know, move like that. Even, you know, if you can go out for a walk, even better. But if you're just like in your place, just getting out of bed and you know what, just get used to like touching your body like, okay, hello, my body is here. But when you touch yourself and you touch the ground and you're aware of it and you just say, you know, I'm just pulling my presence back into my body. <sighs> you know what, do it with me right now. It feels really good. It just brings you back to yourself. Now, one habit that a lot of people get into is when they wake up thinking about Oh, you know, what was that worry about? That was things I was worried about yesterday. Like, let's pull those things here and let's get those worries activated again in, in my day today. Do your best not to do that because you can start fresh every day, okay? You get to start fresh every day. And if you don't like automatically pull those worries in, then you're actually giving space for maybe the the opportunity or the solution to come in to take care of whatever that was. But if you just pull that worry in and you start like, oh, oh, you know, I have to be, you know, scared about that or fearful about that or worried about that, you don't give any space for something to come in and resolve it. Okay, so that's just like a side note. So start your morning fresh and just get present with yourself. And then you want to say, okay, I'm present in myself. You know, I'm touching my body. Yes, I'm here. I'm awake. I've got this beautiful physical body. And now I'm just going to breathe. 
And now I'm gonna take up some space. So like, just push your hands out. And if you could imagine you're pushing your energy open, do it with me right now. I'm pushing my energy to the side, to the front, to the back, way up into the clouds, way deep into the earth, way out to the sides, like I'm just taking up space. And doesn't that feel like, whoa, that just gave me more presence. That just gave me a sense of like confidence. That just gave me a sense of stability. Because I'll tell you what the difference is. When you just get up out of bed and you start your day and you're just doing your thing, you're pretty much just living like this in this body. So you're at, you have your body, but you have your energy and your energy is everywhere. Your energy is on multi dimensions. Your energy is in all kinds of lifetimes. Your energy is in all kinds of people's perceptions of you. Your energy is wherever it, it it's in everything. It's in everything. Okay. So if you're just living from just this body, like that's very limiting. And when you just live like this, you're ten that's constricting because your energy is meant to be oh, my energy, like I could just bathe in this energy. Okay? It's not meant to be like, oh, oh, like that feels like you're constipated. And no part of constipation feels flowing. Doesn't feel good. Doesn't feel like it just feels tense okay so even if you weren't necessarily tense if you're only living from this much you're living in a constricted energy and what does that mean first of all it doesn't feel as good as being like oh whew, like yes my energy is so big and open like i can dance in this energy i can express myself in this energy I can be more free in this energy right so when you're like that, you have so much more space for things to come in, possibilities, solutions, opportunities, um, resources, people, happiness, like manifestations, like you just have all this space to play in. But if you're just like not being aware of that and you're just like walking through your day like this, you're not having the space for all of this goodness and flow to come in. It's like turning on a faucet and only letting drips of water out. If you were just letting drips of water out, how long would it take to fill this glass out? It would take some time. But if you turn that faucet on full blast, that glass is gonna fill up fast, right? So if you're constricted, the universe, God, who creator, whoever is your higher power, only has this much space to get in. And if by chance you have any worries or you have any, um, you know, doubts or you have any like a million things going on, you're only operating from this space. How much do you think new could come in? How many solutions do you think will occur to you? How much... Um, possibilities or resources or or people helpful people how, how do you think there there's going to be enough space for any of that to happen how do you think that you know you know synchronicities how you know things you know you're in you're in the flow and sync is happening how much of that are you available for if you're only operating from this much you're not you're not okay but when you're like like my existence my existence is so like all the way up in the clouds, deep into the earth, across the universe. Like, yes, I am taking up space. That's my existence. I am, I am so big. I am so, I have all this room to dance and play in my existence that I don't have when I'm just living like in this, this amount of constricted energy. So when you have that space, you're opening space for opportunities to come in, solutions to come in, 
manifestations to come in, people to come in, exploration for awareness, for, un, you know, under, getting ideas and, and being open to like, just like tapping into so many different dimensions. Like I'm not even getting into multi-dimensions today, but that's where you start doing. You start have, having the abil availability and ability to tap into these all these dimensions that you are, okay? So I always say, I don't really believe in past lives. I believe because we only have now. We, we don't have a past, we don't have the future, we only have now. So that means everything is existing in the now. Like what the universe is not, you know, when people say, oh, the universe, like that is the creator, like that is the, all that is, no. I mean, you can believe what you want, but to me, the universe, like, that's just a universe. <laughs> We're infinite. We live in an infinite existence, an infinite container, because how do I know that? Every thought, any person, anything, any flower, any animal thinks, creates. And maybe you see it create automatically in the physical, and maybe you don't, but it creates because you thought it, so it becomes. And the way that you see it in the physical is to be in the vibration of its physicality. That's why sometimes you can see angels in the physical or deceased people in the physical because you're in the dimension in which they are residing, okay? Doesn't mean that everything you can't see is non-physical. I don't believe that. Now, you can believe what you want, but I study energy all the time. I understand a lot about energy. And to me, in my experience, is if you are in the vibration of whatever it is, you see it, you will see it, and, and it appears to be physical because you're in that vibration. Whether it's physical or not, who knows? Like, you know, it appears to be physical. If you're physical, you appear to be physical. Who knows what it really is? We There's so much we don't know. But, I don't know why I was getting all into that, but the point is, the more you are just taking up space, and that doesn't mean like, I'm gonna just take up space, so you better just walk, be careful, because I am like all in my space, like, Okay, some people talk about it like that. When I say take up space, it's like, you know what? Live in your space. Open your energy so big and so wide. When I go on my walks in the morning, the first thing I do is like, I just get present in myself, call myself back because at night, you know, I'm astral traveling, you know, there's parts of me everywhere. I just want to call myself back to myself within this, this body. Yes, we have bodies, so we need to embrace our bodies and utilize our bodies. So I'm walking, I wanna call my presence back into me. I wanna expand and take up my space. And then I, I actually start talking out loud. I love my walks in the morning. I walk along the river and I just have a, the best time with myself. And I say, oh, I'm expanding my existence. Where is my existence, Cindy? And I say, my existence is in that tree. It's in that river, it's in that flower over there, it's up in those clouds, it's deep in the earth, it's all the way in India. My existence is everywhere. And I just like, it brings me so much joy just to like talk like that. And, and hi Homer, hi Andrea, you just came from a walk, too bad we weren't together. Um, and um, I just, um, it's so fun to do that. And actually, I, I posted recently a reel about when I was running and talking about my existence and I fell and then I got up and did it again. I posted that on my wall, I think like a week ago, but that actually happened months ago, but I just put it together on a reel recently. But yeah, like I do, that's what I do in the morning and I just laugh and I go, my existence is in everything. Your existence is infinite. Think about this. I, wanted, I, I was just doing a live on my Instagram. So hopefully I didn't say this. I don't think I did. So they're both, both of the, these lives are a little bit different, but the same topic. I was talking about your existence 
when about this past life i don't believe that there's a, a past life it's all happening so there's versions of you in all kinds of dimensions and one interesting way to look at that is like there may be a lot of lifetimes of you that you're not even aware of and we can bring that to a like current level of today okay so let's say there's somebody in india that i that i met and they're thinking of me and or they know of me or you know they think of me and they see a picture of me or see me on social media or whatever and they have so i'm in their existence because they're thinking of me so my existence is actually in india because they're thinking about me but i've been, also been to india so my existence is there i'm there I'm, I'm in india a lot in my thoughts and and you know desires to go back and all these things so my existence is there but people also keep your existence alive so say there's somebody in um mexico but they've only seen me on social media and that's all the only way they know me so they might have a, a judgment an opinion a perspective an attitude about me good bad combination whatever but they think they know me just from how they have seen me maybe on youtube or social media or, or read my website or whatever and um so they have my existence is there and i have no idea it's actually over there because i don't know this person and i don't their perspective of me could be completely wrong or it could be right or it could be a mixture it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what it is but they're holding either a high level of energy a good energy for me or a low energy for me or somewhere in between energy of me there there's people pissed off at me that i don't even know okay same for you and so my existence is is alive in mexico in that perspective like that version of me that i have no idea of good bad or ugly or mixture is in mexico so there's a lifetime of me there because somebody has created me there recreated me there so you know we talk about these lifetimes they could be lifetimes that your soul actually was was involved with or not or maybe my soul is talking to that person in mexico interacting with that person in mexico but i have no my human self doesn't have the awareness of it okay so there could be problems with that. Maybe that person in Mexico has, you know, not the best intentions or something and is playing out their own scenario and that could be affecting me. And because we're all connected energetically and even if we're not having physical conversation, it doesn't mean that our energies aren't interacting because my energy could be interacting with that that I don't know of. There's a comment here. Let me read this. Meghna, hi. My goodness, I'm from India and I've been thinking of you a lot. Oh my goodness, you have helped me once and whenever I remember you, it makes me smile and feel so grateful. Love you. Oh, I love you too. Thank you so much. I appreciate you commenting. That's so awesome. I love India. I want to go to India. I, I really want to go to India. I want to go to India. Like I was planning to go to India for an extended amount of time in um 2020 2020 like the end of 2020 of course we know what happened um i will get there anyway so you see how this these lifetimes could be that you know or don't know and when if i had like i did a healing because i do light activation healings so sometimes past lives come up because i see fractures in somebody's energy i see it in their energy hindering them in some way and say that that came up that thing from mexico um you know it's like oh there's this this past life and this this person is you're there and this is ha what's happening with that person and it's hindering you because you know it's not so great and so you know we do this tech this advanced technique where we um put it all that lifetime and any other lifetimes with the same vibration and do a, do a resolution and and release of it and um so i wouldn't know it was somebody that just saw me some on some social media and made this whole thing up 
you know, it came up as a past life. So that's, that's, you know, it's energy so interesting. My thing is energy. I love energy. I love understanding it on deeper levels. And I have my, um, my spiritual mentoring group that is twice a month. We, we meet on Zoom twice a month. And we've been doing it since the mind calendar was coming in, you know, the big thing of 2012. And I never expected it to last, like, and it's going on 10 years now. But we do this, this is what we do, like deep dives into this kind of stuff. So it's just, I love it because I'm channeling new information, you know, right at the time that we're in our classes together and we learn so much. But like, this is my jam. But just thinking about your existence, all the places that you exist that you know or don't know, your existence now, and what you can do to easily improve your life dramatically by understanding some of these energy psychology, energy concepts. So, what I was coming today to talk about was just really getting present in the morning, waking up, feeling yourself like my human self. Let's pull myself back to myself. Remember, don't stay like this because you're in a constricted state of being. Don't pull those worries automatically to the front of your mind. Let them just give space for a while. Like if they have to come in later, like you, you need to worry about something, Okay, do it. Just commit to doing it later because what you want to do is give it space. If you just go, oh yeah, what were all those worries from yesterday? Let me just pull these in and now like flip on the worry switch. No, give it space. Like, okay, I'll worry about that after I have my walk or after my coffee or after lunch. I'll worry about it then. I actually do that. Like I'll go, I'm not going to like worry about this right now. I'm going to, you know, tomorrow I'll worry about that. It's so weird. I'll do that. I'll do that stuff and, and I'll give myself that break that day. You know, one of my favorite things that uh, I used to tell myself when I used to worry a lot was just for today, I'm not gonna worry about this, just for today. And then if it would try to come in, I go, no, just for today, I'm not gonna worry about this. That thing, that really helps. But if you have to worry about it that day, something you need to worry about, which I hope you don't, but we're human and we have stuff, okay? Just give it space in the morning. Like, no, okay, you know, later. Right now, I'm just going to get present in myself. I'm going to take up my space. So when you take up your space, it could be a couple feet around you, in front of you, below you, above you. But you really want to get to the habit of like, I'm going to just take up space. Like, all the way to the east, to the west, to the heavens deep into the core of the earth is like I'm expanding I'm just giving my space and I just want to be in the full expression of taking up my space and opening up my existence and just giving myself the freedom to be present in this grandness in this infinite energy that I am and when you just give yourself that opening you are opening yourself to solutions, to resources coming in, to things manifesting, to realizations, to healing, to insights, like you're just giving space. So perhaps you opening that space will give you the solution or what fix that worry because you gave it space you know what we'll do that later but right now i'm just going to give myself space and I'm, I'm going to clear my energy and the last thing that uh, is really good to do with this practice is imagine that you're an energy grid okay within you like a 3d netting um like white you it should be white okay because that's bright divine energy okay and it, it's within you and it's around you and expands out through all of your existence into infinity, okay? Imagine that and see, like intend that you're clearing all those grids. So you want to see from internally all the way out. Just imagine, affirm. I mean, if you're not good at imagining, if you're not good at, you know, 
you know, visualizing, you can just affirm and just send bright, clean, sparkly white. And if you want to up the vibration, golden white light through all those grids, through all directions, through all dimensions, just into infinity. It's just a way to clean your grid, to reset your existence to reset your infinite existence and just make sure that everywhere all that you are is touched whether you know you're aware of that version of you or not or you're aware of these energies and where they are or not just touch it all with the golden white light and just say my whole entire grid is filled with the brightest most high energy white and golden light and I have got I'm taking up my space and I can dance in the space I can feel free and open in the space my heart can be open my energy is so grand and so big that everything that I could possibly want or need has the ability to come in because I'm free, I'm open, I'm available for all the goodness, all the solutions, all of the resources, the amazing people, connections, all the engagements that are going to fulfill and improve my life. And don't tell me that this takes a lot of energy or time. It doesn't even have to take that much time. But if you do this every day, give yourself space, you're going to feel your life. First of all, you're going to be healthier. You're going to be, when I say wealthy, you're going to live a wealthy life. Wealthy doesn't just mean money, but it, it definitely in, includes money. A wealthy life of health. A wealthy life of presence. A wealthy, wealthy life of perspective. A wealthy life of of finances, of friendships, of ideas, of success. Wealthy in all ways. When you open yourself up, you have a wealth of energy. You have a wealth of openness in which you can receive a wealth of whatever it is that you focus on, good or bad. Remember, what you focus on will determine what comes in. And um, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. So I'm just here making my oatmeal. I got my, my apple here. I'm getting ready to cut up. I did my four plus mile walk, working my way up to my six miles again. I was live the other day and... I was saying like I could feel my body like it, I was fine did the walk fine but my body was not on point because I didn't walk for a few months and I usually walk six miles a day man my body was not happy it's getting better and so I'm still at four I just it's windy today like yeah this is my excuse but it actually is a good excuse for me it's really windy out and I get air aches, so, but I did, I did my four plus walk and came back. It was nice, it was a good walk, but I gotta work up to my six mile. Decaf coffee, I don't drink caffeinated coffee anymore. I'm so proud of myself and I love this decaf. And I'm about to have my oatmeal and I'm excited for my day. I don't know why, but it's just because I feel good because I'm, taking up space and I'm expanding my energy. I feel good. Why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you feel good? I mean, be excited for your day. You're more excited for your day when you feel good. So do it. Uh, Andrea, me too. No more caffeine. Yeah. I love coffee and I would no, I would always turn my nose up at decaf, but I can't handle caffeine. So I was mixing half caffeine and half decaf anyway, but I just notice I don't feel good after drinking, and I don't drink a lot of coffee, and maybe a cup and a half at the most, and I don't feel good. 
So I'm like, why do I keep doing this? I know I don't feel good. So I'm doing decaf and actually I love this decaf. So I'm not missing the caffeine. Oh, the dandy blend. So that's not real coffee though, right? So, um, yeah, I hope that was helpful for you guys. Are you guys, if you guys are instant on Instagram, go to at Cindy Eiler and follow me because I'm there quite a bit, posting quite a bit. If you're not on Instagram, don't go on Instagram. It's not to say don't go on it. I'm not encouraging anybody to do more social media media than they already are. But if you're on Instagram, follow me there because I'm doing uh, these videos there too, but they're different. I'm not copying them and putting them. I'm doing separate videos. So I said a little different stuff on the one there already, and I'm saying different stuff on this one. All right. Can you guys give me some hearts, some thumbs up or whatever that helps if you guys can do that or say hi or leave a comment or share this like that just helps this get out more if you guys don't mind but yeah even just throwing up hearts helps thank you all right you guys have a great day tomorrow's thanksgiving i'm not a big holiday person but we're having thanksgiving but yeah i don't i just assume i i don't like whatever i'm not a big holiday person so i hope you guys have a good one and enjoy your day give space to your worries give it some space decide when you can think about that just but affirm i'm going to give it some space because when i give space i can it can get fixed and then you don't have to worry about it what a concept all right you guys thanks for watching have a great day peace